we really just wanted to show you how we measure and do a chin wrap at a party. It's really fast and really easy, but a lot of people have questions on how to keep the wrap secure when people are talking and enjoying themselves at the party. So, Cammie. I'm going to measure you, Denise, from earlobe to earlobe. Now, if your client's doing a facial and a chin, I recommend putting the chin on first, then putting the facial on, and then doing the saran wrap to secure the chin. So we're going to start by doing earlobe to earlobe measurement. So I'm just going to go right under the chin, and I go to the nearest quarter of an inch just measuring right under the chin. Now if there's a bigger flap under the chin that they care about more, make sure you measure that area of the chin. And then we're going to apply one of our pieces. And I will just kind of have them hold that up there. And it will probably stick fine, but just in case it doesn't, uh, while, you know, while I'm getting my little saran wrap out and ready to go, we'll keep it in place. And again, just like when you're doing a tummy wrap, make sure that you um, smooth it out on the chin. And then I just take a piece of saran wrap about as, as close to as big as my arms band width, and I put it around like that. Looks like a rain bonnet. Isn't that beautiful? It's that simple. And then when you're done applicating the chin, we're going to take it off. If they've done the facial too, take the facial off. They can be rubbing everything in. Have them rub in the extra. And then we're going to measure again from earlobe to earlobe. So keep it simple. Use the six cut chins out of one applicator. That will help for your, for, um, your cost into the product and have fun.